Hi, I'm Oregon Nick, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be making some organite, specifically a pyramid called ozone. And it looks like this. So before we get started, I just wanted to show you what you'll need to make this pyramid. First, you'll need a pyramid mold. This is um, the pyramid mold that I have. It's got a silicone mold that sits in a plastic housing and it works really well. You can make tiny pyramids to great big ones and I really love this mold. I have two of them in fact. Anyway, um, so for the crystals, I normally use a Lemurian seed crystal for a piece like this and I wire wrap it with the copper wire but today I have um, this nice blue smelt crystal it's way too big but uh, it will we'll probably only be seeing about that much of it in the piece but it will work for my purposes and uh, for the stones I have Amazonite and um, I got this on Amazon, which I'll leave the link uh, for all this stuff in the description box. I use blue gold stone at the bottom. Today I have lapis lazuli. I don't normally include this, but I'm out, I'm running out of my blue appetite. I don't have enough to put in this piece, so I'm substituting lapis lazuli for that and also some nice turquoise and some leafing I think I'm going to use silver leafing for this and uh, and your resin and by the way I use polyester casting resin but you can certainly use epoxy resin to make this piece if that's what you have so let's get started Okay, so to start with, I will pour an ounce of resin. I use my handy dandy jar here because I can't easily pour small amounts from the big gallon jug that I have. So I'm just going to pour that into my mixing cup. Now to add the hardening drops. For the polyester casting resin, I'm not sure what it says on the jar or the can, um, but I use nine drops to start and then nine for every ounce thereafter. And since this is one ounce, I'm going to use 18 drops. And I'm going to just stir that up real good. If you're using the epoxy resin, which I know is a two-part resin, you want to stir that for like at least two minutes to just get that all nice and, and mixed up. If you're using the polyester casting resin, you need to stir it until it becomes clear and then probably stir it a few minutes or a few moments thereafter. Like I said, I do wire wrap the Lemurian seed crystal, but since I'm using the larger blue smelt crystal, I'm not going to wire wrap that. And I'm just going to place this in here. And just a side note, um, if you want to decrease your amount of bubbles, the best way to go about that is with heat. Some people use one of those long lighters um, I recommend a heat gun because every time I've used the lighter I set my resin on fire and that's never good so um, try a heat gun but with the polyester casting resin I haven't had too many problems with bubbles okay so we are ready for our first layer of gemstones and I'm going to use an ounce of resin for this layer Pour it in my mixing cup. 
And for one ounce, I'm going to use 18 drops of hardener. Okay, so I poured the whole ounce around my crystal. And I'm going to start with Amazonite as my first gemstone. So I've got about an ounce of uh, stones here, which weighed a, about 50 grams. Let's see if I can use all of it in here. Might use just a tad bit more than that. Let's see. So in all, I used 80 grams of Amazonite in one ounce of resin. And we're just going to let that uh, settle for a little while. And I will be back to do um, our leafing and then our next gemstone. So join me for that. Okay, and welcome back. It's time to add our silver leafing. Looks like this, and it easily tears, so I am going to just tear off some pieces and kind of uh, Put them around so that they fit. It doesn't need to be one whole piece. It can be many small pieces. It sticks so easily if you've got resin on your fingers. I tried to do this with gloves last time and it's stuck all over the place. So I'm doing it with my bare hands and clearly I must have some resin stuck on there because it's sticking. And it's totally okay that it hang over the edge. In fact, that it gives kind of a pretty effect. I should tell you that it was 45 minutes from the last time I poured the resin until I started to add the leafing. So it's not hard, but it has congealed, and uh, that's the best state for adding the leafing. You want to kind of give it a sticky surface uh, to adhere to, otherwise it just kind of floats around until you add uh, more resin. It's very, very delicate. Feel free to use um, brass shavings or aluminum shavings in lieu of the leafing that I'm using. Um, that will work just fine. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna leave this leafing to the side for our next layer. Um, but now that we have our leafing down, we can go ahead and add our next layer of gemstones. So for this layer, I am going to add about an ounce and a half of the resin to my mixing cup. So I have an ounce and a half of resin and uh, 
like I told you before, I do nine drops of hardener to start and then nine drops for every ounce thereafter. So I'm probably going to do about 23 drops of hardener. And if you are going to use the epoxy resin, just uh, add uh, 0.75 ounces of each part and blend them together. Okay, so it's time to pour in our resin over the leafing that we just put down. Go ahead and just pour it all in. And we're going to use our turquoise for this layer. So I used about 90 grams of the turquoise and we are going to just let that mellow and uh, congeal before we do our next layer of um, leafing. It works best when it's a little sticky, so um, that's what we'll do. So I'll see you in about 45 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes since our last layer, and it's time to add some more leafing. You just want to press that down until it sticks to the resin. I probably added a little too many gemstones. Um, I like to have the resin be a flat layer, but this has a lot of stone sticking through, so it's a little bit bumpy. Okay, so we have our leafing down, and now it is time to mix up our resin. For this layer I'm going to add two ounces of resin. So for two ounces of resin I'm going to add uh, 27 drops. Okay, and I'm not sure how long it takes. I, I think it takes 24 hours for epoxy resin to harden, but um, I'm not exactly sure how long it takes for it to at least congeal. Um, if you're using epoxy resin, wait for your layer to congeal before starting the leafing or adding your metal of choice. It definitely takes a lot longer to build one of these pyramids out of epoxy resin than it does uh, the polyester casting resin. And I will definitely leave a link on where to get that. I get it from eBay, but I'll, I'll give you the exact uh, link for that. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and pour all of this in. And we're going to use our lapis lazuli. And I used about 115 grams of the lapis lazuli. So we're just going to let that sit and uh, I'll be back to do our next layer. Okay, and we're back to add some leafing. I'm going to add three ounces of resin. Okay, 
with three ounces of resin we're going to add 36 drops of hardener pour in the whole thing and we're going to add blue goldstone And I used 180 grams of the blue gold stone. And we're just going to let that settle. I'll see you when this hardens. Well, normally this would be the end because I have come to the last color of, uh, or the last layer that I was going to do. But that crystal was so long that it's sticking up about an inch. Um, I'm going to have to cover that and I have beach sand to go with it and I think that'll look really nice and I couldn't find my seashells but I do have some tiny um, sand dollars so I'm going to use beach sand and sand dollars to, uh, to finish this piece out. So I'm going to pour four ounces of the resin for this last layer, and I hope that will be enough. Maybe I will need five. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and just add a fifth ounce. So for five ounces of resin, I will need 54 uh, drops of hardener. Okay, so I'm going to just pour this over my last layer. I'm just going to place the, I have these mini sand dollars that um, I'm going to just kind of sneak into the edge or the edges here. just arbitrarily placing them around the edges. Now I will add some sand
just to let you know, when you put the beach sand in resin, it's always gonna look as if it's wet. That's just kind of the way resin is, no matter what kind of resin you use. Maybe I should have put the sand dollars in after I added the sand. Somehow I thought it would be better the way that I did it, but I am rethinking that. So if you're making this, you might want to save your mini sand dollars till the end. And it looks like we succeeded in burying that crystal. At least the point is within the resin and not sticking out. I'm going to pour a little more sand over it though, just to cover it up from view. So this is the last layer and I'm going to let it harden for several hours or I may pick it up in the morning um, and I'll show you what we've created. I probably used about 375 grams of beach sand. Okay, so join me when we demold this project. Okay, so it's the next morning and I'm ready to demold our project. Let's see what we have. I'm pulling out the silicone part of it and I'm just going to peel it off. It's really easy to demold. And we have a nice finished product. You can see how the silver leafing overhangs. Anyway, that's what we've made. So now it's time for me to sand the bottom edge of this. It's, it's pretty uh, rugged and sharp. And so I need to sand this down and we'll add some feet to it. So uh, I'll be back when I get that done. So I just wanted to show you the feet. They are these uh, cabinet dampening bumpers. Um, I think they're about a half inch each and you just peel them off and we're going to stick them at the bottom corners of the piece so it sits nicely. And we are all finished. Here is our finished product. I think the sand looks good and our little sand dollars look natural in there. They're kind of hidden by the sand a little bit, but that's natural. Anyway, I think it turned out really well. I'm proud of it. If you're interested in any of the pieces that I make here on my channel, you can find them on Etsy and I will leave the address in the description box. I'm going to close with some pictures of other Organite projects that I'd love to make with you. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It makes me super happy when you do that. Also, subscribe to my channel for more great Organite projects, and I look forward to making more projects with you. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to find out when new Organite projects are released. This is Organ Nick, and thanks for joining me today in my Organite studio. 
Have yourself an amazing rest of your day.